<laughs> Welcome to the Introspective Sports Show. I am your host, that nigga, Mr. Roger Gordon in the building. Again. And again. And again. <laughs> I got my niggas in there with me tonight, sitting there for the guru. I got Jake Rocker, the chopper, Jeff Von, Billy D. Williams, guy, a.k.a. A.K.A. Hey, what up, baby? What up, man? Just chilling. Just Good? chilling. Good? Yeah, heating the summer up. In every way. That's what's <laughs> up. <laughs> Ghost, Nick Everson in the building. What it do, baby? Yeah, man, I'm here. You here? Mm -hmm. You ready to work? Oh, shit. I don't be like that. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get to work now. <laughs> Let's get to work now. <laughs> uh, my first question is, I guess, uh, I mean, you know we're at the NBA Finals. You know, I'm going I'm to I'm 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 dig right into the guts. Are the refs competent or great orchestrators? I'll first quote my man Dwayne Elliott. Because <laughs> y'all know who else benefits more than these dudes. It's more money. Are the refs playing a role or are they? Because I, I it's saw good calls. Kind of missed calls. I bro. think it's good calls. They made up for a lot of the missed calls and even worse calls. So, I mean, it's going to be like that. It's going to be, they're going to miss calls and then make it up by worse calls or, I don't know. It, some some games it looks like they're getting paid. Last game it looked like they were getting paid just a little bit. Somebody, at least that one dude on the side, he couldn't call nothing right over there. I don't mm -hmm. know what he was doing. Tell about last night or the game before? The game before. No, okay. I don't know what he's doing over there. Whew. I don't know, Jay Walker. It looked bad. What, you think they all getting paid? I, just, or maybe I don't know, just one but I, I, Hey, man, I think all of them would have to be. Because the other would be looking at the other one like, what are you doing? And then why do they got to review everything over there? Like, they're, they're walking over there every time to review. You can't get at that. One stands you can't in get front like he's the guard. I'm like, uh, they challenge the camera. The got one of those people to table commissions in both of their ears, and they wait. Like, yes or no. Yes or no. <laughs> For real, that's what you think for real. Uh, man, this shit's entertainment. It's good. It's entertainment, right, right. Why, why, why not? not? I, I, why think, not I think that, um, I think, you know, they, they allow them. I don't know, man. You know, the Las Vegas wins. They, mm, <laughs> after, you know, but officiating can change and stuff, but they, they can call anything on any given play. Travel, you know, double dribble, foul. I mean, they, they can change the move the games for the people take. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Momentum, yeah. yeah. Two fouls early. Take your start. Take the game. your start of the game, yeah. Quick, quick, quick. I don't know. I do know that uh, it looks bad. Uh, LeBron and Kyrie, they took over. They took over the game. They, they took over the game. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to first say Kyrie, part of. Duke Nation as well. Oh God! You know, I had to come to and sneak that up in there. Duke, we produce players who go out and ball on any given night. So I mean, you're just seeing some Coach K, you know, at its um, best out there. Jay Rocker, uh, <laughs> your man played like five <laughs> games as a Duke. You did. He still that has Duke. nothing to do with He's his career. Duke. I give more credit to his high school coach than Coach K. Nah. Hell yeah, bro. Hey, LeBron games? stepped up. LeBron stepped. It's it's really about it's really about LeBron stepping up. At the end of the day, like who can who can really stop him when he's going to the hole? The officials. Besides the officials, nobody. He should be he should be as aggressive as he was last night. If he, if they do that, they can they can probably push us in. They balled last night. They, that's how they that's how they gotta bring it every night. Or they. Oh, it's, oh, it's gonna be ending on his court again. He gonna be super sick, walking to the back, confetti, that other different color confetti on your home sure. court again. Because mm -hmm. even if you can say that it's 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 ref orchestrated, we can say all of that, but they still gotta make the shots. Right. So still that is the professionalism that. that I do appreciate in the game. That hell, they hit what eighty two points between the two of them. Ball shit. That's hey man, shit. That's ball. Ball. That ain't gonna happen again. You know what I mean? I think J.R. Smith needs to show big mm. this next game. They gotta have an X Factor. It's gotta be him or Shumper. Something's gonna, two. no, something, well, you can shut him the fuck. Hey, you don't like Shumper? Oh, man, look, Tyrone Lee shouldn't be <laughs> playing him. He, he, he's a liability, cuz. I'd be playing Fry way more than Shumper, though. Fuck, man. I don't Fry's know about sorry that. Too. God, dog, they Fry, they, they, they see Shumper. I would play Richard too, Jefferson. Bro. Richard Jefferson get he's 8 to 12 right. more minutes. Yeah. Cause, I ain't gonna make, yeah. 
You can't knock it's better to the finals with that damn shit on top of your head. Not because you're coming off. <laughs> Did you see the first game though? He yeah, had when he had the box. Chinese shit. Yeah. The ball no, that was straight. He didn't like no, it. No, not the ball. Before he put the ball, the, the box was. Yeah. <laughs> nigga, he had a perm, but it wasn't sitting up and it kept getting down in his face and shit. That's why he put it in the little bun. I was like, nigga, what is up with your hair? Nigga, he done permed his hair out. So. He needs to step up. But that nigga, he's, a, he, he, he's good defense, but he can't score. That's what he you need though right now. Good defense. Some people that keep playing, run off that's all what I'm saying. He's good in defense, but he can't score. And somebody, you know, somebody's got to step that's up. That's what they pay JR for. JR. He got to step up. JR can put 40 on him. JR can easily put 40 on him. All they need is 25 from him. Right. 25 from JR, they got it. And, I know, agree with that. LeBron got to hit 35. Kyrie, these people 25, get 25 yeah. and they win. It's a, it's a wrap. But Kevin Love, I wouldn't <laughs> count on him. He's garbage. Uh. <coughs> Yes, he is. Kevin Love is? Yes. What you mean? He's just, you know, he's hurt. He got his... He's overpaid, too. He got he's his head hit. You know, he's he's injured, you know. But, <laughs> but you picked him up. You picked him up to win the win ball games and to the, the go in here and help close these games out. He ain't done it in the last two years. Injured, injured. He, was, he wasn't that injured in Minnesota. I think his best years is... The bomb behind him. playing with him, too. You can see that. No. Ah. He's out of there. They're gonna trade him next year. They're gonna trade him over this summer. They're gonna get something. Yeah, he gone. Him. He's out of there. Win, lose, or draw. They, he's out of there. I don't think he. But didn't they give him a hundred? They gave him. Yeah, they did. Twelve, they gave him 12. twenty-two, something. Shit, it was paper. How did he didn't get nothing from him? They stuck with him. LeBron gone. Yeah, yeah, they stuck with him. Kevin Love ain't going nowhere. It had to be some. Somebody would have to pay his contract out. Yeah, yeah. and they ain't trying. He ain't. They would wait till the last couple of days. No, he's yeah. lost yeah. stock. Stock has dropped on Kevin Love. So it's going to be J.R. Smith, I think. He's going to step up. Yeah. I don't know if he's got it, fellas. I'm going to be honest with you. J.R. Smith? No. Man, he's what? got potential, but damn it, it's time right now. It's time, nigga. It's time right now. I like how he was trying to go to the cut. That nigga didn't want to shoot the ball last night. Something wrong with J.R. I remember he fell and hurt his hand. Yeah. He probably hurt. We can't tell him. I'm I'm jacking that thing. I'm, I'm letting them give me one of them shots to make it number. I'm jacking that thing. This 40 <laughs> right, right. They got to keep shipping on the bench. That's a game plan. And Mozgov, too. Everybody says to play Mozgov, but I don't really. That's not a good option. Brian Mozgov gets off, though. Mozgov always gets off, though. He's not really. He's no, not Christian good. Thomas, why are they not motherfucking them? He should be that third option off the bench. He is. He should. That's, he's they there, but too. Who? They pay Tristan. Him. Tristan. Oh, he's he's just, worth it. He is wild. He's wild, man. He's still in court. That's a part of him, though. Yeah, it is. He's a bird, y'all. He's a, he's, yeah. he's, 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 he's a ball. He's right at ball. Ball, yeah. Exactly. If Kevin Love did that, like he used to, he don't. No, what? Kevin Love used to be always running the ball, tapping the ball, somewhere a ball hunter. He ain't no more. Yeah, he's a 2018 dude. Nice. That's some clean light. He was still team bears, y'all. Is a butt. Like I don't know why people. He was a ball hawk for Cleveland, though. He was, but, he, but he was a ball hawk for Cleveland. That motherfucker was tapping the ball, always giving you that second, that second chance. Yeah, he's Good a, things happen when that energy is contagious. Yeah, yeah. he was high energy. He's like an expected. He's on the floor every time the ball comes in from three feet of him. Yeah, that, that, he's I, on the I floor. That, yeah. He's the following 50, on the 50 floor. balls. You do me. Oh that. god, now I ain't talking about the fifty fifty balls. The flat. The he, flop. He's oh, running that ball. Yeah, like, oh, yeah, yeah. oh, that hair be going. I said, boy, look at this shit here. Yeah. <laughs> right, you know, Brad Jones, one of them actors, you know. You got a Brad Jones here, man. The Golden State one, too. The Golden State one in a cabin. But they said this dude's going to get paid for either team, though. That's crazy, right? Even if he get he gets paid, but he don't get a ring for either time. But he, something. He gets paid. He gets paid both. He gets paid. Very sure I played enough for the uh, Warriors. It's like Cavs. 43 games, 42 games. To get credit for to. helping him with the title or whatever, even if he's with the damn. Really? Yeah. So he's getting a ring either way? I don't know if it's going to get a ring, but no, he, he gets, gets paid either way. Paper for he gets paid either way. You know what I'm saying? So if Cleveland wins, he can get that ring. And no, no, no. He gets paid ring. regardless. He, he gets, don't get a he ring unless they win, his team wins, but he gets paid regardless. Okay. That's pretty good. That's some rare shit. Hey, he's the only person that ever did it. I don't think nobody else did that. No, because they usually get niggas up out of there early. Yeah. They either get you up out of there early or after February. Sorry, I had to see that one. Uh, we're going to take a break, but I'm going to get into the LeBron get green and suspended. King James. 
Okay, then. Everybody, the little, you know, analysts and the sports figures are saying <laughs> that LeBron went and said a little extra stuff that, Le, you know, uh, Green was saying, I mean, uh, LeBron saying Green said extra things and that made the media hype it up and so that made the NBA go look into it, which got Green suspended. Because he didn't get suspended during the game. I guess my question is, should somebody get suspended after a damn game? After a game? Yeah. Like, we're going to review that. Yeah, that's a suspension. Like, this I mean, shit's over they do. dead. They do the same thing in the NFL. Like, they wait till after the assist the hits and the damage. Especially if he don't get injected out the game. Right. If he if still he continues injected, to play the game, then he You can't come there. Gotta... Right. That's like over excessive to me. That's that's a little that's a little over. Yeah. All right, dog, though. He didn't get during the game. He yeah, wasn't but injured. hold up, dog. You been hit the ball. Hold up, though. Playing <laughs> There are certain Ain't there are certain things you can say amongst men that's like, yo, on my only option is to knock you the fuck out for you saying that. <laughs> As a man, that ain't fair for me to do that. You know, I mean, it is what it, some things you just can't say to a man. You just can't. Right? You know, I just think I think it's kind of soft for LeBron to do that, but at the same time, I mean, I'm like, you know, on national TV, it's not a good look. If you say something so disrespectful to somebody, like, I can say something to you right now that you got to hit me. You're, you're a better man for walking off. I mean, it should be something. Listen, if it, when it comes to wife and kids and mamas, you, I don't. I don't think. I think they should do something about that. You, you should not be able to be talking about nobody's family. Though. You know, maybe LeBron went there and said something like it had to be something like that. What the hell could it could have been? He called him a bitch. Called a bitch. That's what I heard it was. He got mad. He is a bitch then if he went there for that. <laughs> yes, and he's all. Hey, hey, I just predict my whole safety, America. LeBron James, you a bitch. You went there for that. My bad, y'all. I ain't got cable, but I'm moving back. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> That's fuck shit. No, it's not. Uh, it's not. Uh, now, now, if Raymond would have said like Brown Brown something, Brown Kevin going there and said that man, I mean, yeah, because LeBron, you got a great, you tell the commission man, that, right, look, I knock this motherfucker out, and it's not gonna be a good look. You know what I'm saying? On national TV, this that other, look. something like that, I'm never yeah, but you know, yeah, if I boy called him a bitch, he went, like that. and he went there like a bitch, that's a bitch shit. Yeah, it's LeBron's league. Get him out of there. Get this man. But Clay Thompson was laughing at it. He was like, "Man, I've heard worse on the floor, man. This is, you know, it's a man's league where everybody talk junk." Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't, you know, I guess maybe his feelings just got hurt. Yeah, ain't nobody talking no shit to LeBron, LeBron, man. He, he ain't had that happen. You know who's had man, the balls to just, talk shit to him? Besides shit. when he first got in the league and he was looking up to niggas. You know they talk shit to him. But now that he then became the king, ain't nobody. He's looking down on anybody. So he's probably like, "Oh shit." You know, bitch nigga shit on the way, you know. Oh gotta, man. You know. He just didn't know what to do, I don't think. You know, like, oh shit, this motherfucker's trying to punk me. I gotta I gotta I gotta I gotta be LeBron or something, you know. Hey, it's, it's, it's his league. It's hard right to take now. He's, I know he said it's hard to take the high room. Like what is he talking about? <laughs> I mean That's he always LeBron takes the high road. Yeah. He take the low road if you go man and get that man. I mean besides that bitch. situation, I'm saying any other situation when you hear the media talking about But that goes back to uh but, it might be this officiating shit. That's what I was about to say. I mean, well, it's just, I'm not, you know, yeah, it, it could be any, get, even get to play any random fucking act on the floor, they like suspension or. Let me punch the nigga in the face. Nah, that, that, to me, that's like saying, okay, we're going to give. We're going to give Cleveland a chance. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They got to keep them cameras rolling. Whatever exactly. they got to do to keep them cameras rolling, they're going to do it. Which we need to Google how much money they make for a game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The finals. Yeah. Yeah. Shit behind all that endorsing and all that. I mean, there's so much side money going on, commercials, endorsements, Vegas, God, Vegas, like, Vegas, the floor, Vegas um, eventually runs the seats, yeah. merchandise and all that. Well, I'm sure you cover me with, with every you cover me and I'm a ref, and you say uh, we're gonna give you, you say five thousand. You don't even have to say a whole big number. <laughs> Fuck a whole game up. Good. But imagine if they told you we got five million. I'll trip right? somebody. Five million times. <laughs> I'll trip somebody. They squirt water on the floor. <laughs> squirt water on the floor. Yeah. yeah. Flatten the ball. Hey, all kinds of shit. Wow. But I'm out of money. 
And you know if you fuck up and you cheat on your wife or whatever, you gonna get blackmailed. I think it goes that deep to where they be like, ah, we got leverage on you now. Leverage dude. is a money. Yeah, that's all about that shit. Well, you got man. Guido, then you if, took that if money. You got me five million dollars. You ain't gonna know anything. Nah. Right. Right, you know you take that money. Right, that's why I want somebody to go to me if you want to. You be walking up on a new stadium some damn well, you know? Yeah. Don't fuck with Guido, we all know who Guido is. Speaking of which, I just bought a car for Guido a couple weeks ago. I ain't fucking with Guido no more. Well, no, what's wrong with Guido? Man, I ain't getting killed. So do y'all think that Greg being gone was the reason why they lost? Hell no. Plays no role. It plays a little bit of a role, yeah. He is the X Factor. He's more of the emotional leader, keeps shit going. So it's you over know. when he gets back to Cleveland since he's back? It might be over. I, don't, I hate to say that about Brian. I want him to win one and everything, but Draymond's mad, probably. I Brown's know he's going to come out. Brown's whoever mad. come out with the mask, they're going to go seven. Whoever can play. It might it's go seven. seven, man. It might seven. go seven. I don't see any reason why the NBA would allow it to go six. They're going to miss out on all that money. You know how much hype will be in between game six and seven? Jeez. When will game seven be? Sunday. Thursday and Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm going to tell y'all right now. Too. Yeah. That's oh, Father that's paper, too. dog. Come yeah. on. Yeah. If that that's game goes to game seven, it's going to be a first time. It's, it's going to be, be a first, first time. It will. It'll be a first this time. Is, it's going to be the janky ass. It will That'll be the first time. That'll help his legacy, time. though. His legacy will be secure. Don't even matter what happens. Nobody's going to bet against. The odds saying 101 you win if you bet on black, which is the team three down 0-3 will never come back and win. So. Yeah, it's like the wild card two, is the bronze, like the wild card in the yeah. betting world. So I go back to what we talking about. It could be some fucked up officiating now. Or, hey, let's be honest. If, if Guido was going to say, Steph, <laughs> you might want to twist that ankle, buddy. <laughs> let's be honest about this shit. Now, any intelligent man, if you got Guido and the commission them sitting at your house like Steph, we don't need to talk about this. So LeBron, we don't need to talk about this. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on. You know what it is? I mean, Steph gonna be like, yeah, my ankle hurt. That's the end of that. And this could happen in tomorrow night's game. Oh, oh God damn, miss all them shots like you keep missing. Yeah, you but make shots all damn year. Now the preemptive to that is like yeah, you got a bad knee. Kyrie might have did it last year, like. You know, yeah, this could be uh, this could be the prelude, you know, from last year. Like, yo, we can't let you get this. I think they're setting up for next year. Yeah, right, 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 right. This is all a plot. The three game series, pretty much, to, to see who wins. You got the biggest cash yeah. cow, other than the mic, not to cut you off in the history of sports. My bad, I ain't even. Oh no, you good. You know, LeBron, money wise, mm -hmm. Stephon's gonna be good, but they not nobody's ever. Kobe tried to get there, but LeBron's the closest thing to Mike, money wise. Mm -hmm. Tiger and Mike, nobody's got to pay them 2-3. And that, that's it's going to be LeBron's last big market to run. I mean, as a contender, I think. After this next year, look, we all know LeBron, he's, he's, he's going to be always been great, but he's, he's on, man, he's slowing that course, he's slowing the gets run out of gas. Yeah, fifth gear just kicked me. He's out of six. He said, yeah. He was in six last night, but we're going to see if he can Yeah, but old man get up the next morning like, oh, shit, woo. I can't move. <laughs> I'm walking about that get stuck. Like, oh, he's a rock. I can't right. move. I, you know. Well, that nigga get in that hyperbolic chamber. That nigga. Yeah, he good. Moving. He's sleeping good. That nigga sleeping good. He's so probably he getting in the massage as soon as he leaves. Whatever leave. the hell the Michael that. Jackson chamber. Yeah. You know, the, the oxygen nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Brian good. That he gonna be bad. like a 12 year old still. I think he gonna do it though. But Nate. Like you said, it's a big cash market. Is it good for sport that he did? It's that? good. It's, it'll be good for sport. You what? know, Mike, Mike won one on Father's Day, you know. He's saying he's the closest thing to Mike, you know, as far as marketing-wise, as far as carrying the league in that aspect, then it'd be good for him. It's good I for, mean, it's basketball good for on Father's Day, bro, that's... Ain't that might be some janky shit. Man, you just can't You need that, that though. Right? You need that. You need, yeah, you need that. I mean, as far as America... And then we had all this tragedy in Florida, bro. We need Game Seven now. Yeah. Now we need Game Seven. We need that's, that distraction. That's real. <laughs> you know. That's, that's what gets janky. <laughs> so that's where it gets janky. It's, it's, it's hey, real. When it gets janky, yeah. that'd be a good look. We're gonna take a break. We're gonna we pay a little homage to Mahondra. Mm. We'll be right back. Thank you some more time. Two dollar Tuesday. No, no. Muhammad <laughs> Ali died the other week. 
be wild. Uh, big up to the greatest of all time, no doubt, no question, hands down. I just want to ask if it is it too early to ask about the rope or no? Ask what? What do you mean? Ain't nobody gonna repeat that shit. That's why he's the greatest. Is that why he's the greatest? That ain't why he's the greatest. That's why he's the greatest. That's what he put on? Go ahead. That might be why he's sick too, taking all the hits. Not just in that specific fight, but just period over a boxing career. Hmm. He don't rope a dope on the on motherfucking hold you on. No. Or oh, motherfucking Mike, he going to sleep. He sleep, sleep. Today. You ain't gonna rope a dope. I mean, you just ain't. I ain't. I, ain't I, I don't know. That's why I was kind of getting that. Like, how strong were the heavyweights? Like, shit, shit. You know, they were strong. They were strong. They were strong, strong, strong. But you know, even yeah, listen, oh, listen. You heard what y'all just said, though. Listen, you ain't gonna rope a dope on no damn Holyfield, Lennox Lewis. He ain't rope a dope. Who did he do it on? Hold up, though. How many people have a dope This man was a psychological animal. Uh, he was a freak. He was a freak. He's a crazy man. He's a crazy man ain't feeling that shit. <laughs> Why would I leave him crazy, man? I can't that. That's what his genius was. You know, you, the, the whole world knew he was intelligent, but they knew that this motherfucker crazy. This is as smart as he is. He's crazy. And that was his genius, so. I, I, I just think, man, he was sick. He could tap into a place with him. And a lot of people couldn't go to I'm a dope man. Are you, are you saying that's why he's sick? Or cause I, I mean, ain't it? I mean, that's on, let's obvious. Be I, no, 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 no. Let's talk about the knowledge of who this man was. This was the probably the greatest, of, the greatest African American ever. I'm not gonna argue that. Now you think something was that's with this motherfucker food where they was like, hold on now, if he could manipulate this motherfucker changed the way he did more for civil rights than any nigga. You right? I'm not gonna argue that. I'm not gonna argue that none. I mean, you know, uh, he sacrificed the way what he did. For civil rights, period. Whites, blacks, other. Because if he was a nigga, the, the world looked at it like, oh, that nigga just stand up to all that, all that oppression. You know, it, it changed, it, it changed people across the world, man. And I'm not gonna sit here and say this motherfucker ain't putting none in his coffee. I'm not gonna argue that either. He had the world now. What, imagine what he could have did with the world after boxing. You know, with his knowledge, that right, right, boxing. You know, it, 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 you know, you know, God bless him or whatever. But I, I don't know. Something could have been put in his drink, man. I, right. That's what I think. That's true. It happens. Greatest. He the greatest. But we do yeah. know that there, there, there's, there's proof that you know head shots cause brain damage. CTE, football, punches, and that shit is real. Man, that shit is real. Oh, the stress. Right. I mean, I just wish the nigga would have had a different style. He was already great, you know, on some, some level. We would still have him. 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 No, some level. If he was poison, that's a different story. So believe me, what he was teaching us was no amount of big... Yeah, fucked up. I know I don't think no man should do that to then take that punch like that. But I, I think what Muhammad Ali showed the world was... Is that, that, him taking them punches, like, to me, honestly, like that white man, like, you can't beat me. It's nothing nobody can do to fucking me. Because of my belief right, in right, myself. Yeah. Watch this. So I'm going to let you hit me for two rounds, nigga. I'm dead. I'm going to come back and black, black, black. I mean, <laughs> it, it's fucked up. Yeah, I mean, but, well, you can't, all boxers go through that. At some point, I mean, you know, that have, most of them, you know, not maybe not, you know, to the degree he had with the, you know, the sex and stuff, but all boxers pretty fucking slow after a while. That's been that's been proven. All of them, Florida in five years, he, Florida ain't going to be as sharp as he think he was. Yeah, methodically, yeah, but he's not going to be able to think as quick. You might be able to think better. Muhammad Lee never lost his smarts. It's just he, he lost that wit. He couldn't get that wit out as quick as he once was. Man was the smartest he was ever. I mean, he think. He didn't stop. You know, he can always think, but yeah, boxing them. What do we do? It's a dangerous sport. Right. You know, they say about fighting dogs and shit. I, after, I look at boxing and MMA shit, and I'm like, man, this is. Rich folks watch this shit, and they're like, hmm, look at that nigga kill that nigga. A young trashy motherfucker. Kill it more. That's not for us. That's that's for like kings and queens and shit back in the secret. They probably laughed at that shit like, kill him! Hoping somebody died, like, you know, on the pay per view shit. Like, God. Well, that was terrible. Didn't nobody die. Nobody yeah, died. Yeah, they probably got some I mean, shit. you know, yeah. I don't know why I went with that, but no. Excuse me. They're definitely cool. the gladiators, man. They're yeah. gladiators, that's man. They're like gladiators. They are, yeah. Got them Maximus and shit. Maximus. I look up to them. Maximus. Yeah. Hey, man, that's <laughs> it. But do it not take a crazy motherfucker getting in there doing that? What'd you say? Oh, Anybody that crazy gonna bang their head on against that wall? It ain't gotta be that sport. 
They gonna do something wild, you know. <laughs> Dude. Yeah. Ali was crazy, man. He's the greatest. He had a big following. Yeah, but you know, I, I was I, I ain't quite the greatest, of course, with the boxing, but it was just so much more than the boxing, right, which made yeah. him great, though. You know what I'm saying? Boxing's cool, man, but you know, damn. It was not the boxing to me, you know what I'm saying? That nigga said, hey, man. fuck your... And when he said, <laughs> that <laughs> yellow man ain't did nothing to me. That you know, you know, did. Yeah. That yeah. 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 That's yeah. what yeah. made yeah. that dude so great. Yeah. 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 My press is here. You my press. He used that platform of boxing to elevate that whole mentality that he had of, you know what I'm saying, like, yo, I'm against our lives. I'm going to take on this world like I do this boxing. Come on, man. I'm gonna take that shit too. I'm gonna eat that shit too. So that was what, you know, I, why I see man, this. Man, this man walked up on the queen and told her he was pretty. This man, I'm, I'm listening. Ali is the reason why I interrated today and got the way it was. <laughs> because he was, I'm, I'm serious. Even though he, he didn't listen, I don't think he, you know, publicly messed with a lot of white women like that. It's just the way that he, he made it cool for a black man. I'm so handsome. I'm, we never, man, niggas was scared to be who I'm they so was, man. Yes, you I mean, right. it, it kept his masculinity with it. Like, nah, ain't right. no punk shit. You know, I'm, right. I, you know, right, right. You know, I'm me, you know what I'm saying? It's me. White women love that shit, man. It's men changed a bunch of shit. You right. A bunch. That's super nigga. That's <laughs> that is super nigga and he is the greatest right. nigga of all time. Yeah, I hate to use the word right. nigga. All he's the greatest, man. Yeah, no doubt. I, I mean all these, you know, and, and look, I'm a spiritual man. I'm not a religious man, but I'm a spiritual man. Right. On some spiritual shit, this motherfucker to me done his metaphor is biblical almost in a, in, in a sense. I mean, that's the way I look. What he done is the barriers he crossed for what is righteous and what is good is almost like what they try to portray in these books or whatever. I get it, but you know, it's few people can walk it and, you know, and live it and, and be real with it. That man sacrificed for the world and Ali, Ali's the greatest, man. Sounds like he might did just as much as Jesus. <clears throat> We're gonna, gonna get out of here and y'all deal with that and soak that up and eat it and it's real. It's fucking real. All right. Uh, Anybody got a closing vote? Jeff Ryan, who's going to win this motherfucking championship? Damn. Brian, Brian. <clears throat> LeBron. Because he got Kyrie with him. And Kyrie's from Duke. Kyrie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. He yeah. just jinxed Cleveland Cavaliers. Damn it, Cleveland. You ain't going to win now. Drop Mike on him. <sighs> Ghost. Oh. Go to State wins them all, they win. If they lose, the problem's gonna win it. That's my argument too. I'm with you. Final thought. Fuck with us next week. In perspective, holler back. Ah.